microphone. Um, you know, I'll give us out of the face for radio, so you just got the voice. <laughs> so, my name's Max, my business is called Scarlet Financial, and I'm a commercial finance broker. Um, we're going to be talking about money today, so a disclaimer is important. This is all general, it's not specific, it's not advice. I find that interesting. So, a bit about me um, I live in Glazer with my wife and two year old daughter. Um, it's an amazing place. I've been working in banking and finance since 2006, starting at Macquarie Bank. I've got an MBA from UTS. I'm on the board of directors for an association called CAFA, which is Commercial and Asset Finance Brokers Association of Australia. Uh, it's actually a peak industry body for commercial finance brokers like myself. So it's a pretty privileged position on the Young Garden board and it gives me a lot of advantages. Um, in one year, just before I launched my business, I got married, went on a month long honeymoon, uh, quit my job, bought a house, um, and then launched my business. So it was a pretty long year just before I wanted to start with. So what is commercial finance? Um, kind of getting back to basics and being simple. Uh, it's any borrowed money in a business. Like you borrow money for your business, that's what commercial finance is. Um, and there's different types of commercial finance, and I'll go through each one in a little bit more detail. But uh, why do businesses use commercial finance? So as you all know, as business owners and working in business, it's never a straight line. Um, it's twists and turns, and there's things along the way where you need extra capital, you need money to grow um, and improve your business. And that's typically where finance comes in. So what does commercial finance broker do? Um, well, I do a lot of things for my clients. Um, most of it is navigating, right? It's a complex, confusing market for commercial finance. It's, a lot, it's very easy to pay too much for something that you shouldn't. Um, and knowing which banks and who in banks to take deals to can save my clients a lot of time and money. Um, so this is something I do a lot of, and I spend a lot of time around policy, structuring, um, getting the right rate and the right product for my clients. Um, I work with a lot of different banks and lenders. Um, you'll see some big logos up there and logos you maybe never even heard of. Um, and that's the thing about the marketplace, that there's so much in there that you may not know and options that exist that you might not be aware of. Um, so, you know, again, using a broker to know who to speak to can make a big difference. The process I go through my clients, and I sort of say I'm like a relationship oriented broker, not transactional. I like repeat business, so I like clients coming back and going from a car loan to a work capital facility to a commercial property, right? And growing with them and doing a lot of that. Um, a lot of what I do, especially on the larger commercial stuff, is writing the credit files and collecting information and synthesizing it and understanding it and really getting to know my clients to help them position and grow properly. Um, there's a lot of stuff that goes into that. Um, you can see there's some there, but you know, I do stick around not to just try and churn through through my customers. All right, so we'll go through each in a little bit more detail. So assets and equipment finance. Um, assets are anything with wheels, basically, right? So cars, new or used, yellow goods, um, earth members, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's kind of typical asset finance and fit outs. Commercial fit outs is also falls under there. Um, and equipment. Anything used for civil construction, um, general construction goods, uh, manufacturing, even IT goods, anything with a serial number or wheels kind of falls under this finance. Uh, working capital is just something that I'm very passionate about. I love the working capital piece, the cash flow element. Um, what do you use it for? Right, Working capital, you probably know things like overdrafts or term loans, those sorts of things, that's the product type. What do you actually use it for? You use it to grow, um, you use it to improve your business, pay for bills, unexpected things happen come up, you know, you kind of need that core working capital facility to keep your business on track and growing, right? So um, we'll talk a little bit about that and all these different products. And you know, is it property backed, is it not property backed, is it not secure, is it short term, long term, um, do you use different securities? There's a whole lot of stuff in that working capital. Um, and it's really important to forecast. Since COVID, a lot of lenders really need cash flow forecasts. If you don't have one for this year, um, email me, I'll send you a template, it's pretty easy to use, I can help you do it. Um, it's super important, you should have it for your business, your clients should have it, you should understand where your cash is coming from and where it's going. Um, and when you go to apply for finance, you almost always need a cash flow forecast. So it's something you need to be proactively doing almost on a three month rolling basis based on your quarterly returns. Um, bit of a numbers game, I like sort of ratios and indicators in, in business. Um, here's a couple of financial ratios, like you know, you, you want to know your effort margin, you want to know your profitability, your employees, sales, ratios, marketing, there's a whole lot of stuff in there that help give you indicators in your business, in your clients' business, around what you can improve on and what to focus on. Um, so have a look at these ratios, I can give you more, go to the spreadsheets, you can automate it, but it's really useful to have some of these um, to understand your, your business, I definitely recommend it. So commercial property uh, as well, so this sounded so offices, uh, warehouses, 
um, industrial, um, all that sort of stuff is, is in commercial property. You can buy it in your, in your self managed super fund if you have one set up. Personally, I think the really interesting thing in commercial property is it as an investment class. Um, you know, in this example, you need to put in 30% deposit, which is higher than resi, but you can generate, um, based on the structure of the loan, up to $34,000 in free pre tax cash flow a year, right? So who doesn't want an extra $34,000 to put either into that property or in other places? Um, you know, so there's a lot of a lot of stuff available there. Development finance, um, if you have clients building buildings, um, this is sort of what I do, you know, so the big things through the book, my seat, board seat at CAFRA, I have access to a whole lot of different lenders. Um, and so building building support. And again, the interesting story here is time versus money banks versus not banks, banks are slow, not banks are fast, and working out the ROI for that, right? I know it's a big spreadsheet. All right, so why use commercial finance? I've got less than two minutes. Why would you use it? Well, you want to grow, right? You want to inspire, you want to grow, you want to do more. Cash flow is key, cash is crap, right? So you want you to be able to use finance, you want to be able to power through and grow and do things. Um, and there's a lot of ways to grow your business cash flow and improve your business. Here's 50. Some are some simple, <laughs> some are easy. Um, those taking photos, just send me an email to the slides later. But um, it all comes through. But the best 50 there. And you know, focus on your cash flow. It's the lifeblood of your business is the most important thing. Um, of the 50, uh, here's a business model canvas for you. You need a business plan to cut your cash flow. That's really useful. Um, here's four strategies that I'll cover for you. Right? So, Free price. Remember the last time you raised your prices? You could go from 10 to 12, you got 20% more cash flow per sale. Right? Focus on cash flow and marginal gains. Uh, replace. Um, time is money. Every time you're kicking in old printer and old cars, bust it down or whatever it is, replace off, it's taking time to fix and do that and reinvest. Replace. Reinvest. Um, there's market people in the room. Uh, invest in positive cash flow generating projects within your business and initiatives. Um, you want to generate as much cash flow as possible. That's where you can get return on your, your money. Um, and really think, you know, finance, we're being attacked all size from regulatory pressures, fintech, all that sort of stuff. So everything, your business model and, and where you might go just to be able to do things. Um, and again, to increase cash flow. So that's pretty much it for me. I do write the newsletter every two weeks talking about all this sort of stuff. So if it does interest you, send me an email, I'll go to the website and subscribe. And thank you for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it.